Hello everyone, this is Isaac. This is Taryn. And, and we, we are, are True Masters, True Masters of Morons. Morons. So, so, while I was murdering these people because they came back, uh, I literally just was beating this dude to a pulp in this corner. And you'll like notice right those are guys there. over there. Like, literally right there. That's his body. And those guys over there, like, they were looking at me. They were they were kind of looking past and, and walking back and forth. But did nothing. And all I could think is, and I was like, why are they doing nothing? And so Terran said, um... <laughs> and so Terran said that that, uh, you know, that wall... That's, I realized I can I can just go. I can actually fight them and talk yeah, about Yeah, it's like this they're not going to say anything important. You can just go. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, oh, don't worry. Remember, they're blind. <laughs> so I was like, no, nah, that's an, that's an oh, imperceivable... Oh, ooh, ooh. Bomb it. That's a, that's a wall beyond which no sight can be made, no senses are, are perceived. It's an impassable wall of, of vision and stuff. Oh, and I got burnt to death. We'll be back. Oh, fire does you... Everything does more damage at a higher level. The basic fire stick did more damage at higher level. Yep. Suffering is part of the immortal condition. The pain will never stop. By that he means... Uh, loading screens take forever, so they're immortal, and we have to suffer through them. Your immortality is contingent on load sitting through long loading screens. This is your pain. How annoying <laughs> would that be in reality? Oh, it depends. If it's only when I die, I, I feel like the average immortal could go a long time without having to deal with that. Okay, but what if it was like every time you opened a door to like a new area, so if you oh, walked outside... That that are you kidding because think about that that's like is it every door so like if i leave this room or go to the bathroom no, no, no. or i i think i think a house or an apartment uh, i apologize for starting this conversation in the middle of a loading screen but we're gonna keep going with it and you'll just have to watch loading screen but so like every house every apartment kind of room kind of thing like every built everything that is considered one house or building counts as one area one zone um, but like if you're going to leave yeah one zone but if you're going to leave that so like if you went out the front door that then you have like a two minute loading screen that you have to deal with um Screw and at random noise. intervals in in the outside world so you're driving you know that will get and, people killed. <laughs> well, so, so like, if I'm moving at 70 miles an is hour, the, oh my gosh! If I'm moving the, at 70 miles, the condition miles, is. Go ahead. If I'm moving at 70 miles an hour and suddenly I hit a loading screen, and there's not a all right, the load is done. Are you ready? Because there never is that. Um, oh, and it just pumps okay. me back into real world. I'm like, and oh gosh, crash! Like that's happening. <laughs> Yeah, because because the rest of the world stops. It's not just you let it, that's right, in the no. world's load screen, right? I, pr I presume. But yeah, I guess you you just have to be sitting there. If you're in a car, you have to be sitting there ready and waiting for the load to be over. Otherwise, you're just gonna you know crash into everything. Imagine road trips. All state oh, lines are zones. For all sure. city lines are zones. Yep. <laughs> oh man, that would be a freaking no. nightmare. I really don't think like, that, would that be is worth not immortality. worth immortality. Like I'd really have to think about it. There have to be some of the perks that come along to make that worth it. Because no. that's just it. Like, like immortality by itself is not worth it. But like, what are the other perks? <laughs> uh, it's like, what? How are you getting immortality? Is it just that you live forever? Because frankly, you're going to spend the uh, the equivalent of your entire lifetime before you would have died. <laughs> Just in these loading screens. Just in those loading screens, right? And just think about all it's the like, awkward things that could be happening when you're caught in those loading screens. Like, there's all, all manner of things. You'd be having a conversation, you stop mid-sentence. Maybe, I don't know, you're eating a bowl of soup while you walk through a door. I don't, I don't. Why are you going that way? I'm going home. Oh. You want well, me to dude, try that fight again? I mean, you can if you want, but also there's a bed right up there. Well, but I wanted to, since it's like, you know, take me to a hospital, I, I wanted to sleep in that bed. Gotcha, gotcha. 
All right, so give this fight one more shot, and if not, we'll be we'll we'll wake up when he wakes up the next morning, guys. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, there'd have to be a lot of other stuff going along with the Can you just sneak to make that through them it. into the into the room beyond? No, that's literally the door I need right there. Oh. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> oh. Open the door again and see how many chase you. Or just do that. That that worked. Yep. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I mean, it is a big old mega bomb of death. Just let them group up. Yes. Ooh. Nope. 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 <laughs> Stay him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now murder him for good measure. Cause fire stick of death. I need his blood. <laughs> one good bite and then kill him for safety, or are you gonna? No, one good bite and then kill him for safety. <laughs> yeah, that went really well. That was great. That one, yeah, no, that that was a lot better than than last time. I I liked that one. That one was good. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Did you pick up anything of the things that were pickupable? Yeah, I you picked just ran up by them so quickly. I wasn't sure. Okay. Good All job. right. Good this job. is it, right? In here. Yeah. And it looks like all that's left is a rookie. The so. final boss, the big the BBEG, the big bad evil guy. Is a rookie? <laughs> <laughs> you underestimate my power. <laughs> <laughs> Once I kill you, I will attain my true level as Vampire Slayer. <laughs> this isn't even my and final people, form. <laughs> people will know me as Buffy. <laughs> Get rocked, son. And down he goes. I like that when the I like that the little guys all go flying when you shadow bomb them like that. Oh yeah! Victory! Oh, that was Get glorious. Rocked, sir. A large box of pills. A used, used Pruin, Pruin steak. steak. Ooh, is it a better steak? Right? Is it is it better than my steak? <laughs> also, it's used, and that is concerning. Gross. On a number of levels. Report about Pembroke, second November. From Scout Lewis Cagney to Mr. Jeffrey McCullen. McCullum. Object Pembroke Hospital Survey Vampire Activity. Sir, having observed the Pembroke Hospital for two weeks now, and we can confirm vampire activity there. First, we now have proof of the presence of a female leech inside the hospital. The beast is clever. She acts like a mental patient to hide her true, unholy condition. I personally sneaked inside the hospital and heard the creature whining about her need for blood since her body is decaying. But it gets worse. The, administ <laughs> the administrator of the Pembroke Hospital is Dr. Swansea. According to our team leader, Amanda Tilton, who died yesterday in a fight against a skull by the canal, he may be a member of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. If that's true, then there may be something big going on at Pembroke. Maybe even a nest of vampires. Protected by those bloody traitors of Sto. Maybe even a nest of vampires protected by those bloody traitors of the Sto. We don't know what to do, but we are convinced you better come quickly with reinforcements and heavy gear. Great. And I don't know anything about uh, the Brotherhood of St. Paul. We don't know yet, but I, I hope whoever's in charge looks at that and goes, Oh, she's disguised as a mental patient. Asking for blood because her body's decaying. Right. Okay, so this is clearly actually just a crazy person. Moving on. Right. Oh. The oh. Great Hunt, hail our fallen comrades. The Great Hunt. Hail to our fallen comrades. Hail to our fallen comrades. Hail to their bravery. For we prevailed. The God prevailed, my brothers. We hunted them down. The enemies of mankind, hidden in the dark tunnels of our modern cities. We found them in their nests and dens, and they perished. We brought the fires of battle to the blackest pits. 
Never had such large-scale war been engaged by mortals against immortals. Remember this victory, my brothers, for it seals and proves our methods. Never sleep, never surrender, never give up. Yes, my brothers, our method is good, and England is safer tonight thanks to you. Thanks to those of us bitten and killed by the enemy, or our trembling hand when they turned against us. Do not tremble, my brothers, do not doubt. I cry tonight for the fallen comrades, I cry, for I am an old man who finally saw my goal accomplished as I lived my last years on this earth. The god of Prewin is only half a century old, and we have already accomplished more than the traitors of St. Paul in half a millennium. This was our first great hunt. Let them leeches who survived our wrath remember we won't stop. From The Adversary by Kendall Stone, founder of the God of Pruin. <laughs> I... <sighs> what? I uh, just doing the... From the voice made me yeah. laugh. But... <laughs> After that, ha 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 Made you laugh the first. Made you laugh the first time I did it too. <laughs> <laughs> Shotgun shells, yeah. I believe they had those for sure. There's not uh, a doubt in my mind. Was Is that, that a key? Cilicine? Right. I think it's Cilicine. Cuny. Hey, I can reassure her about the spies. Hey. All right, we'll see you guys back there unless he gets jumped. Thelma! Where are you, you vampiric woman? Ah, you're talking you to your are slave. You to reveal all your secrets oh. to me. Even the darkest thoughts in your heart. My blood and soul. They belong to you. Uh... They're life running in your veins. This dead flesh needs it. Oh, please spare me, Dark Queen. Spare your obedient <laughs> slave. Alrighty then. Hey, Thelma. Hey, no, I want to talk not just, just to not to the burnt him. Her. Good evening, Miss Howcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Yeah. About the men I've who were made inquiries about the men who were tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect inquiries with heavy to have this sort of courage. Speak, right. Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? Uh, uh, that I, I, I want to say it was a misunderstanding. You want to say it's a misunderstanding? Yeah, that's what I would go with. It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature, but they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it. I have become undone. Those hunters mm. have discovered me, but they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You oh, shit, what? And you have served what? me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Uh, is she Perhaps just going I to leave? allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proper. Watery rich mind. blood sample. Nice. Ah, tell me about, tell me vampires. about vampires. Tell me, Thelma. What do you really I love the dominating of the chick that thinks she's a vampire. I saw one and he right. saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then oh. I knew I was saved. You mean you one? actually okay. saw a vampire yeah. here in London? Yes. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. Okay. She won't accept your delusional woman. She might get mad about the. I think you could be in danger as the best one. Yeah. You have no idea what problems your claim could cause if heard by the wrong people, Miss Howcroft. You must stop this nonsense now. Why fear the truth? All right. Uh, Strange okay. things live in the dark, Doctor Reed. Strange and ancient beings that were here before this island even had a name. Oh, yeah, before this island had a name. I believe that, but you don't know anything. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. <laughs> it gets me every time. Talk to a friend. Do you think Investigation that he'll give us succeeded. Now? What? Good evening, You think Mr. he'll have anything? Evening, Dr. Reed. I don't know. Oh. oh. Apparently I didn't do the other half of this one. Mr. Elwood. Oh, it's bliss. 
I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you Yay. precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. Mm -hmm. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars. Under the scars. My drift. No, okay, You're so right. I did I did do both. All right, whatever. Why do you feel responsible for the injury, Thomas? What really, what really happened? happened? I wasn't disfigured by any German shells. It happened during my leave. Sorry, what? It was an accident. What really Tell me happened? What really happened then? I went with a whore in Rouen. Dead drunk I was. The hotel was a shithole. There was a fire that night. Did you start the fire? Mm. Were you trying to avoid going back to the front? That's not uncommon, you know. No. It's just that I was asleep when the flames reached the room. The girl was long gone. Bitch never woke oh, me up. Oh, 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 oh. Left oh, me to burn. Rough. Why lie about it? Come on. It's one thing to come back disfigured by the Germans. And it's another to get injured in an accident that could have happened to anybody. Uh, I'd say surgery could help you, so yeah. that, assuming that that's true. surgery has been very successful for some soldiers. I don't want to wear a bloody mask for the rest of my life. I'd rather stay here and just be forgotten. Hint failed. Hint failed. What? That's a thing. Why lie about it? Come on. Reconstruct. I don't want to wear. Oh, so you just just. Wow. All that right. So that's sucks. good to know. Yeah. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Can you look at his thing? Hint lost. Oh. Wow. All right. So I guess it's just lost, and I don't get the blood from it. That sucks. Good to know, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Huh. All right, everyone. It's time to friggin' sleep and level. <laughs> this level five guy's been taking out things, uh, you know, 13 levels or so higher than he has been, so... Yeah. We'll be back. Sleepy time. The following night. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete... I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Well, if last night was any indication, you're good. The right. flower's dying. It needs water. So, water it. Oh! Article on Econs. It's, ra it's a rare opportunity and almost a privilege to approach a vampire to observe their most intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've personally observed over the last 10 years while interviewing a few vampires, or econ as they prefer to call themselves. Apparently we do that. Apparently. Supernatural speed. A vampire can act and move like a mortal in all his actions, but a trained eye will spot that they have the keenest senses and can react quicker than any mortal. On a few occasions, alarm, surprise, necessity to flee, I have seen a vampire move so quickly it is almost as if he had vanished just to reappear somewhere else. The human eye cannot follow their movements when they act so quickly, but it is not a teleport or a dematerialization, it is only a supernatural speed, for me it is a cat-like attribute, which allows them to run, dodge, or jump longer and faster than us. I also noticed that such speed seems to exhaust them, and that they are bound to physical limitations. By the way, there's a nurse calling for us right now. It's really annoying, but I'm just gonna ignore it. Mesmeriz Mesmerism. One of the most powerful abilities a vampire can deploy is the capacity to force a mortal to obey them. I call this trait mesmerism, but it has nothing to do with the mortal ability to alter a subject's mental state. A vampire can bend a mortal to their will, and they can even break and they can even break a mind. A vampire I interviewed even told me the more a subject tries to resist, the more permanent the damage will be, as if the vampire could literally fracture their target's psyche. The same vampire explained to me that this ability required time to master, and that the result could vary wildly from one subject to another. 
Implant a false memory, erase a painful one. The possibilities are endless and frightening. And blood awareness. This may be the most catastrophic ability of all, concerning vampires, since it is the cause of so many tragedies for them and us. Vampires crave for blood. They must use their will to restrain themselves from frenziedly drinking every drop of blood they can see. They need blood to function and to express their full supernatural traits. A famished vampire can be very weak. Even if he cannot die of hunger or thirst, this urge, this urge, this need for blood may explain why a vampire is so aroused by it. A vampire confessed to me that blood could sometimes blind him, since its smell and attractiveness can be so strong. When he focuses, a vampire can almost see blood all around them, inside warm bodies, through walls, on a supposedly clean weapon, etc. The same vampire even told me that he can see if a mortal has clean blood or is ill. Oh, that's how you do it, okay. Etc. Sorry. And in some cases, he can even sense diseases, infected clothes, or even items in a room. If this is true, it could have so many medical applications, it almost beggars belief. I don't know what that means, but there we are. It, it, it. It's like it's like it sounds. It's like it's beyond belief, sort of deal. All right, you nurse, I'm here. Thing? Come on, I don't have all night. Yes, Nurse Crane. How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Doctor Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. I think a this crisis, is the same night. Our supply it said the of next antiseptics night. is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but. No antiseptics what at all. What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics. Really? You're gonna you judge me? That's not long, what I wanted. Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies that's have the been really scarce example of, That's now. not what I thought that was going to say at I all. May have a right? Solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However, do you mean? Meaning. If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be Don't used. Don't stare at the screen like that, lady. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Except for Everything that one, you know, giant storeroom. In the old morgue. Right. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door. Because oh, that it's door been with the lock. That reasons. building with the locked yep. door. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Thank you, uh, nurse. Oh, no. <laughs> no. No. All right, we'll see you guys out there. Ah, there you are, Clay. He's in a chair. Good evening, chair. Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. Distrust. <laughs> Distrust. Press Your life in London, now that I can something. finally talk to you? About the man you pushed in the water. Do you ever think about that poor fellow I saw you push in the water? The wound he gave me will make sure I don't forget him. Still Fucking hurts. Boss, <laughs> cut me good. You almost died there. That man there. was determined to murder you. You almost died. What a surprise. The first time I met him, he nearly shit himself. Fucking coward. Oh, I guess revenge gives you balls. Did, did he, he want, want revenge? revenge? <laughs> what did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Uh, oh! Thought it would be easy to return the favor. Survival at all costs. Only the strongest survive, then. Survival at all costs. Is that all you think about? I'm the toughest bastard you'll ever meet, Dr. Reed. And I don't give a fuck what well, you think of me. That's that's fine, but that's factually inaccurate. Right. How's, How's your, your hospitalization, hospitalization going? going, Mr. Cox? This is a shitty place with shitty staff. But as long as I'm treated all right, I'll be fine. What's wrong What's with the wrong staff? 
with the Pembroke staff. That bastard you said to bring me here, Milton. I thought oh, he was going to oh, break all on. my bones before I reached my bed. Hang on, everyone. I have to go get swap out controller crap. I see. Any all right, and we're back, robots? everyone. The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude, or oh, like that. Isn't that the one you were talking to oh, upstairs? Right. Yep. So let's let's hear that again real quick. What's wrong with the Pembroke staff? That bastard you sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was going to break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. <laughs> Any other smart comments? The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude, or like that. Okay. What, what about, about the, hospital? the hospital? What's wrong with the hospital? Come on, Dr. Reed. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting? A medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. Do we yep. want to give him back the knife? Right. How, How long you do you think law? you can escape the law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. I won't get caught. Prepare oh. to die. Oh, wow! Soon. <laughs> we, we must can't all escape the, the consequences of our actions. The past catches up with us in the end. I ain't afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I could say for most folks. And who are you then? I'm the leader of the wet boot boys. One day I'll leave this shitty place and punch in the face all who thought I would not come back. So he thinks he's the leader. The other guy thinks he's the leader. I have I found, found your knife. Gift from your wife. In that case, you'll be properly rewarded, Doc. Clay Cox is a man of his word. I hope that won't make me an accomplice to your future crimes. Who knows what I might do will. now I feel invincible again. It will make right. you an accomplice, but don't worry I'll about it. I won't let man, anyone know. <laughs> I've never seen so many people. All right. Well, guys, that's that's about all we have time for today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, hi, uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Um, all right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you want to see more of this or any other Let's Play or lore, let us know what it is you want to see in the comments down below. In the meantime, this has been True Masters and Morons, Morons signing off. off. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more like it, hit that subscribe orb. To see our last Let's Play, click or tap the link on the right. For our last lore video, Click the link on the left. Thank you to all of our patrons for making these videos possible. Thanks, Thanks for watching, watching and, and we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.